Hello everybody, Mr. Maffa here. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and staying healthy right now. Um, over the past week or so, we've done a few things to kind of revamp and add to our website to provide a few resources for both current and prospective families to help you learn more about Holy Cross and some of the things that have been going on over the past you know, two months here. Um, it's certainly a new time for everybody and we've been doing everything we can to keep in contact with you and help you still feel connected to Lancer Nation, whether you are somebody who's just looking at schools or whether you're somebody who's been part of our community for years now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen here with you and show you some of the things that we have going on. Now, when you bring up our website, the first thing you might notice here is there are some new images here in the background. That's just some of our students in some of their activities. We have our NHS uh, inductees from this year. We have some of our students who participated in the um, STEM competition to promote a 3D printer for our new STEM program. We have our student council down here. And then we have some of our field hockey girls uh, celebrating one of their team members who was signing for her college. Um, what you'll notice at the top though, is there are two links now that you can click. Um, the first one says click here to access our remote admissions portal. And the second one says click here for information about HCPA's response to COVID-19. So for prospective students, if you click that first button, what you will see is now we have a remote admissions portal that can kind of help you to see a lot about Holy Cross without necessarily coming to campus. Uh, the first video here is a drone flyover of our campus, gives you an idea of some of the size and space that we have. Uh, under, underneath of that, just zoomed in a little bit for you here so you can see a little better, we have a, a chance to schedule a remote admissions meeting. So you can click that link, fill out the form, the Google form, and I can set up a chance to have a video chat with you. I've already done quite a few of these and they've been uh, certainly very entertaining. It's been nice to see the faces of people who are interested in Holy Cross. Uh, here's a little blurb about how we've responded to COVID-19. More on that on the other link. Uh, there's a link to our online application, a little Q&A video that I made way back at the beginning of this whole thing with some questions that people had submitted. We have a photo tour of our campus as well that you can click through. And then just another little um, testimonial from a parent. We have those at the bottom of every page here. So that's a little bit about the remote admissions portal page. Now, if we go back to the home page, I'm gonna show you the other page we have, which is just a little bit about our response to COVID-19. Now our current families should be um, very up to date and informed about this. They certainly know we've been communicating a lot via email, trying to keep people you know, in the know as to how things are changing and what's going on at Holy Cross. Uh, one of the first things that's right here on this page is discussing how we've adapted and evolved our education during this time. Going remote has not been easy for a lot of schools. Holy Cross, we had the benefit of our Cyber Day policy already being something that we use in the cases of inclement weather. Our students have Chromebooks, our teachers are well-versed in Google Classroom. It's something we've used from the beginning anyway. And for that reason, I think we had a very successful transition to online education. We did do a number of surveys with, uh, first with students and families and also with teachers to try to see how it was going for them and adjusting as we needed to make it as successful as possible. And down here, you see a few different little comments from teachers about how their classes have been going, as well as just some tips for kids doing online learning. Um, this is perhaps the most incredible part of what's been going on uh, during this COVID-19 from the Lancer community. And that is the way that our students have stepped up to take care of those around them. Uh, we've done a number of food drives at this point. We collected food. Uh, sandwiches that students made, as well as non-perishable items for Cathedral Kitchen, as well as for the St. Vincent de Paul Society uh, Food Pantry in Burlington County. And we've been trying to support those around us, and our students have stepped up in such a big way. Our families have been so generous in giving back. Additionally, uh, Mr. Coons, one of our science teachers who runs our STEM program, uh, started working using our 3D printers to create uh, PPE and face shields for local emergency agencies and different health agencies. So we gave them to the Burlington County Office of Emergency Management. We donated some to Temple University, and he enlisted the help of some of our STEM students who have 3D printers at home with the um, specs to make these face shields, and they started printing them as well and delivering them. And I think that's awesome. That's something that certainly uh, 
shows our students' willingness to go out of themselves to reach out to the community. And then here's a nice little video that our student council made that they wanted to send out sharing a message of thank you to all of the healthcare workers out there. So this page, realistically, is just kind of a snapshot of what's been going on at Holy Cross in general during this crisis. Uh, it hasn't been easy for everyone, certainly, but I think our community has done an incredible job of banding together to show what Holy Cross is really all about. So those are the two new little links that are on our website. I just wanted to introduce everybody to those. Uh, that's pretty much it. Other than that, just wanted to say I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're all staying safe and I hope you all have a wonderful day.